What's going on YouTube? NBA Live is here, man. It's game day. It's game day. So right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show y'all this is gonna be my first my NBA because I already did WNBA. I did a game really, I didn't record it, but that was that was cool, bro. I'm I'm glad that they integrated the WNBA into an actual video game and I've been dreaming of that for my pretty much my entire life, man. I always wanted to thought it would be interesting to play with the the, the WNBA players. On a video game, so I'm glad they integrated that. But I will record another one and upload it if y'all want to see it, man. I definitely have that uploaded for you guys. But right here we have a matchup: the LA Lakers and their young squad against the Philadelphia 76ers and their young squad: Markel Fultz, Ben Simmons, uh, Joel Embiid. They actually have JJ Redick as well. Then on the Lakers side, you see Brook Lopez, Lonzo Ball. Uh, Contavious Caldwell Pope, Brandon Ingram. So it's a lot of young talent in this game. I'll be controlling the Philadelphia 76ers uh, in this game. Three minute quarters, man. You see it's on Superstar. Uh, let's get into it, man. Let's see, what, let's see what's up with these two young teams. I might have to use one of these two young teams in my rebuild series over in NBA Live. It might be one of the two. I'm not sure. Let me know down in the comment section which team you would like to see me rebuild. Also, before we do anything else, do me a favor, smash that like button because it will help me out a ton. Also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. But with no further ado, man, let's get into the game. I'll see y'all for tip off. Let's get it. Got the tip off. Let's go, man. Markel Fultz at PG. Let's see what we can do, man. So we're gonna, we're gonna do, we're gonna get Joel Embiid in this. Okay, Ben Simmons open. Oh, we threw that away. We threw that away. That's my fault. That's my fault. But these two young teams, man, if they can, you know, gel, come together. Yeah, you, know, you never know what can happen, man. You never know what can happen. Let's go, Joel Embiid. Great pass, JJ Reddick. Great pass. Uh oh, about to lock up Lonzo Ball real quick though. Let's lock up Markel. Show him why you was the number one pick, man. Show him why you was the number one pick. Let's go. Oh, got him. Got him. Let's go. He locked up. He locked up. Oh, snap. He got free. He got free. Dang it. He got free. We gave him a step. Let's go, Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons, man. Hey, Ben Simmons. Man, I'm telling y'all, man. Ben Simmons is going to be something to deal with in this league. Believe me. Believe me when I tell y'all that. Uh oh. Let's go, Fultz. Ah, right, Fultz, you got it. Let's go, Embiid. Embiid is a monster. Embiid is a monster. Embiid is a monster. Let's go, Joel. Let's go. This is the question for this video that I want everybody to, to in the comment section leave feedback to this question, right? Out of these two teams, which team do you believe? Let's go, Joel. Will have the better season out of these two teams? Who will have the better season? Will it be Philadelphia? I'm, I just I'm just throwing the ball away. Will it be Philadelphia or will it be LA, man? Leave that down in the comment section. Also. Out of these two teams, which which team would you want to see to uh, take place in the rebuild franchise? Again, leave that down in the comment section. I look forward to you guys' input. Let's go, JJ. JJ Reddick. Green light. Can't leave JJ Reddick open, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Lock up. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We here. No, sir. That man Julius Randle put that wet that in his face. Dang. Let's get Ben Simmons in this game, man. Let's go, Ben Simmons. 
Let's go, Ben Simmons. Showing why you was the number one pick a couple years back, man. I'm excited to see that young man play some NBA ball, man. Like, that's... I'm really excited to see Ben Simmons play ball. It sucked that he, you know, hurt his foot last year, couldn't play. But, man, if they if they really stay healthy with MB, Oh, let's go. If, bro, if they stay healthy with MB, Ben Simmons, Markel Fultz, um, JJ Reddick, uh, Sarich, I believe that's his name, bro. If these guys stay healthy, they will be a scary team to deal with. Let's go. Good block. Let's go. Get out. Run Ben Simmons. Run Ben Simmons. Get it back. Oh, let's go. Buzzer beater. Let's go, Joel Embiid. That boy Embiid is a baller, man. That boy is a baller, man. That was a fun first quarter, man. Fun first quarter. Let's keep it going, guys. Let's keep it going. Second quarter underway. Let's get it, man. It's Alonzo Ball didn't score. Brandon Ingram didn't score. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's up for this quarter. But I mean, I, give me that. Good job, Lopez. But I'm talking about, I'm raving about Philly, man. Hey, LA got some, LA got some talent too now. LA, let's go. Go up. Good job, JJ. LA got Alonzo, which you know he hasn't played a game yet. But we'll see how that goes, man. They got Julius Randle, who's one of the well, he was a good player at Kentucky, man. So they have Julius Randle. They have um, Brook Lopez to anchor that, that middle. You know, Brandon Ingram is, is another good player. At they lead. Good play, dang. He, he baited that. Brandon Ingram is another good player, man. They got Kentavious Caldwell Pope. They they got some they got some, some studs too. Look at this. They got some studs too on that on their team, man. So these two teams, they're young. But then you know the Lakers probably have to blow it up a little bit if they talk about bringing in um, Paul George, Russell Westbrook, maybe both, maybe two. Let's go. Maybe two of those guys with uh, LeBron. So I don't know, man. I don't know, man. The Lakers will probably have to blow it up, but you know they come away with two of those three players I just named. Get Paul George, Russell Westbrook, LeBron, or any variation of the two. I doubt they get I doubt they get out three, but if they if they get the Lakers will be back, man. If they can get two of those players and then keep their like if they keep of course Lions are not going anywhere. So that that's something you don't have to worry about. I just turned the ball over. Of course Lions are not going anywhere, but man, if they can keep Ingram intact, you keep ball, he's not going anywhere. You keep because I think uh, Caldwell Pope was on like a one year deal. So Five right there. I think Caldwell Pope might be on a one year deal. So man, they they got they have the room, and I feel like they're gonna get at least two of those guys I named. They're gonna get two because I feel like LeBron may be a given because LeBron we all know LeBron to take a pay cut to pay. I mean to to pay to play for a championship. He'll take that pay cut because he did it in Miami. So we know he'll do it. He, it's not like he needs the money. He got a lifetime deal with Nike anyway. So he don't he don't really need the money, but that's a foul. So I can see him taking the pay cut. He in LA. But see now, you gotta think. Russell was Rook or Paul George, man. Which one is is the most like the less expensive, I guess you could say. And I think out of that, the the least expensive expensive one. Out of those two guys, probably Paul George. I think so. Now, I'm not saying. Oh, let's go. Let's go and beat. I don't know, man. That'll be interesting to see come next summer, though. To see if the Lakers can get two of those guys. One for sure, but I'm gonna give. I'm gonna say they get two, but I know they get one for sure. They're getting fouls galore now. Dang. Y'all just want to call fouls, huh? They getting one for sure. But I, I can see them getting two. But that should be interesting.
It'll definitely be interesting, man. But, hey, time will tell it. It should be an interesting NBA season. We all know in the end, probably going to be Cleveland and Golden State again. Lead down the conversation, what you believe your finals matchup will be. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Ben Simmons. Ah, dang it. I think, of course, it's for the third, no, for the fourth year in a row, it'll be, uh, dang, all these files. It'll be Golden State and Cleveland. Uh, I mean, if, okay, legitimately out of the East, right? Legitimately out of the East, you could have two teams that can, that can probably give Cleveland a problem. Two teams in the East. Those teams are Washington and Boston can probably give them a run because Kyrie has something to prove, right? And you got Gordon Hayward. Uh, you still have Jalen Brown. We have to see what the, uh, the young guy Tatum does. We have to see what he does. But man, dang. Go, go. Oh, Lonzo with the jump shot. Let's go. He's still in score. Throw it up, Mark Hill. Alright, good job. But uh what I was saying. But yeah, they got they got Boston still has a, a good team. Nah, they did lose I IT, Avery Bradley, Jay Crowder, Kelly Olenek. You lost some good firepower from your squad. It's not only firepower, but the chemistry. So you, you lost a lot. And you didn't really gain. I mean you got going Hayward. You got going Hayward out of it. Um, you did get Kyrie out of it, so you you got some assets, but you know you, you lost a lot. But we'll see what they do. And then Washington, bro, Washington, if Washington can get out of their own way, if they can get out of their own way, Washington will be a team to deal with. Markel falls from downtown, dang it. Because last season, bro, I really, uh, I'm just gonna be a hundred percent honest with y'all. In the playoffs last season. Washington was the team I wanted to win that that Washington and um uh, Wait a minute Back him down Joel Okay, jo jo that boy had a leap. Ah, dang it. Washington is the team back to that but Washington is the team I really wanted I didn't want Boston to win that series man. Good still I did not want Boston to win a series. I definitely wanted Washington to win a series because I felt like, I man, you got John. Wall now we can't even, we won't even see that matchup again because the Wizards fluffed that up. But man, you had John Wall going up against Kyrie. You had that would have been a nasty matchup. Plus those guys out of Washington, they scrappy, man. They real, they they real scrappy. So man, you had that matchup. That would have been nasty last year in the playoffs, and I feel like Washington really could have pushed them prior to seven games. I really feel that way. So now this season, you know, Washington, they they did. No, they still got Morris. I was thinking uh, Boston got a Morris, but that's from I think that's the one from Detroit. So you know, they still have Morris, who's a, a real scrappy guy on the inside. They still have. You know, John Wall, Bradley Bill. You know, they still had a team from last season. You know, Otto Porter does well. Uh, what's his name? The the one that that pretty much trucked uh Kelly Olynyk last year. What that do? Uh, Kelly Oubre Jr. He's still there. So I mean, you they they have their team. They had a team they need to compete. They just gotta come together, man, and play some good ball. If Washington comes and plays some good ball the entire season, they will be a top three seed, of course. I can say I'll even give them top two. They'll be a top two seed, and they will challenge Cleveland in these conference finals. But they got to get their mind right. John Wall, John Wall ball last year, but it's just they, they, they have to win the big game. You saw last year, man. John Wall, in that playoff series, John Wall played ball, and he even hit, was that a game tying shot? I think to go into overtime, or was that a game winning shot to win the game? I believe that was a game time shot at the end of regulation to go to overtime. I could be wrong. Y'all let me know in the comment section if y'all remember watching that game. But man, if I'm telling you, I'm raving about the Wizards because they can they can make some noise in the East, man. They really can. So in the in the East, I got two teams legitimately that can challenge Cleveland. I in the West, 
the West would be interesting. And I'm going to tell y'all why the West is interesting, right? So you have the Rockets who just picked up Chris Paul, right? Ah, uh, damn, bad pass. Okay. Get in there, B. Let's go. Let's, let's go. Count it. Count it. But you have in the West. All right. So I'm, I'm going to give y'all my sleeper to get to the West Conference Finals against Golden State. Because Golden State is going to be there. But I will give y'all my sleeper to get there to face Golden State. My sleeper is Minnesota. If Minnesota can come together, a lot like the Wizards, but they, they got a lot of chemistry issues they have to deal with because they all coming together. They got a lot of new a lot of new pieces um, that's, that's, that you know came to the team. You have Jeff Teague, new point guard. So they got to get used to Jeff Teague. You got Jimmy Butler coming in, who is a star. We all know what Jimmy Butler brings to the table, but you adding that to Andrew Wiggins. You adding that to, um, let me get this, let's see if I can get this alley. Let's go. That was a little sloppy, but I'll take it. But you adding that to Andrew Wiggins. You adding that to Carl Anthony Towns. And man, that, that's a scary team, man. If they if they can play some good ball, if Tom Tilto can get them playing good defense. And they come together on the offensive end and, and you know, do what they do. Minnesota's my stupid team to get to that West Coast final. But you, of course, you still got Houston. Houston's going to be there. We know that. Um, Golden State, that's, that's a lot. San Antonio, they'll be there with Kawhi. Um, who else in the West, man? The Lakers, nah, they're not going to be there. <laughs> the Lakers not making the playoffs. But I think um, Portland will be there, of course, because Damian Lillard, Damian Lillard, who's probably like next to Dwayne Wade, my favorite player, Dame Lillard is probably my second best player. So whenever D-Wade retires, Damian Lillard will definitely be you know, in that spot for me. Then um, you have CJ McCollum. That, that team is going to be nice. And they, had, they did get that center who didn't play much last year because he was hurt in the playoffs. So they did get him. Also, um, so Portland will be there. Phoenix is interesting too, man. Phoenix Phoenix is one of them teams. They got the talent. They just got to put it together. Phoenix might be there. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. After this game. Oh, snap. That was horrible. After this game, I'm going to go through all the teams. And I give you all my eight teams. From the West, who I think will get in this year, and my 18s from the East, who I think will get in this year. I'm not going. I'm not going to do specific seeds, but I'm. I'm just going to give y'all the teams I think that'll make it right. So after this game, we'll definitely check that out. We'll definitely check that out, man. Take the ball and beat. Get it up. Uh oh, JJ ready for the dagger. JJ ready for the dagger. JJ. Oh, we missed it. We're afford though, so we good. We can afford that. We're gonna afford that. Let's go. Let's go. Uh oh, lock them up. Lock them up. You don't know what to do with it, coach. Oh, don't foul. Let's go. They, they're not clutching it. They're not clutching it. Get it back. Ben Simmons knocked down. Nope. Oh, dang it. I tried to. Shoot. Oh, get back. Oh, good job. Let's go, JJ. Knock it down, JJ Riddick. Dang it. Let me stop doing that. Let me stop doing that. But yeah, man. The NBA, I'm looking forward to the NBA this, this season. This should be good. Should be real good. Um, Because you did. Think about it. And I didn't even mention Oklahoma City yet. That's, that's the crazy thing. I didn't even mention Oklahoma City with Paul George, Russell Westbrook. Them boys are going to be something to deal with now. They just got to get the guys around them to play better. You know, if you get Robeson to play better on offense, because he's going to play defense. Robeson is there for his defense, right? Man, if you can get Robeson playing on offense, you're good. You still got your twin towers down there and uh, Adams. And uh, Adams and uh, what's your boy name that got into all that trouble in Turkey? In his canter. He's there. So you got the two twin towers down there. You did lose Serge Ibaka. Uh, and Taj Gibson in you know, our last season. So Taj Gibson was there for the playoff run. Good, good stuff. But he wasn't there. Uh, but he's not there now. So you do lose Taj Gibson. Great ball movement. You know, but hey. Hey. 
Oklahoma City would be good, but I'm gonna I'm go through the teams, man. I'm gonna give y'all my uh, my eight teams. I'm not gonna. This video is already long, so I'm gonna have to hurry up and fly through that. Or get to the free throw line, and then Let's go. Three point shot opens up. Yes, you're ready to take it. Let's it go. Oh, about to say it. That boy Lonzo finally hit a shot, man. Good foul. Good foul. Dang, that, that Brandon Ingram, uh, Miranda was kind of nice. Dang, calm down, call, that call with Pope kind of nice, too. But live, man, live. Yeah, good job, live. That's all I'm going to say. Good job, man. Real good job. Good job, man. Y'all got Markel Fultz's leg tattoo. Good stuff, man. I can't be... Let's go, Joel. Joel Embiid, 18 points. 9 to 12 from the field. Real efficient, 18 points. Has blocks, has rebounds. Great job, man. Brandon Ingram. Give it a look. That's game, man. Knock this down, Markel. Just, just because. All right, man. That's game. We beat Philly by seven. That was a, that was a good game. That was a good game, man. That was a good game. But uh, I'm gonna hurry up and go to the teams and let y'all know which eight teams. Um. I think I'll be in the playoffs this season. Matter of fact, hold on. Before I do that, though, I do want to check out these stats. Hold on. Hold on, man. I do want to check out these stats. I'm not trying to hold y'all too long, too much longer, man. Um, points wise, Brook Lopez led them. Lonzo Ball they had eight, eight points. It didn't seem like he scored that much. So Joel had 18. Ben Simmons had 14. JJ had seven. Mark Fultz only had one point on the free throw. Okay. But yeah, let's get to the to the main menu. I'll let y'all know who I think my playoff teams would be. Alright guys, so we make it back to the play now screen. This is our team. So on the east, I'm gonna show y'all my eight from the east. I think I'll get in. And right on the on the right side, I'm gonna go ahead and do the west. So we're gonna start off with of course Golden State. They're gonna be in. Golden State is in, that's a lot. Portland, I think, will be in. Cause they have a good team. Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum can definitely get them to enough wins to get to the playoffs. So they're in. Minnesota, I think, is in. Oklahoma City is definitely in with Paul George and Russell Westbrook. So that's four already, right? Philly, I mean Philly. Phoenix has a chance. They really have a chance, but they're kind of young, so I don't see them getting in. Of course, the Spurs are in. That's five. The Rockets are in. That's six. So only got two more spots, and they still got some good teams out there. I'm gonna give New Orleans. I want to give New Orleans a spot, man. But, uh, uh, Denver's definitely in. So how many is that? I got I to gotta go back and count my bad. I lost track. All right, so we got Golden State 1, Portland 2, Minnesota 3, Oklahoma City 4, Spurs 5, Rockets 6. So that's 6. Denver's definitely in. So that's 7. So I only got one more spot in the West for teams like Dallas, for teams like New Orleans, for teams like Utah. Um, Memphis, the Clippers. You know what? I'm gonna get an A spot to the Clippers, right? So we're gonna have Golden State, Portland. Um, I tried to do it off top. So we got Golden State one, Portland two, Minnesota three, Oklahoma City four, Spurs five, Rockets six, um, Denver seven, and then we'll put. Clippers in at the eight spot. So that's my eight West teams, right? So recap that, play it back if you didn't catch it. Those are my eight West teams. So for the East, Philly, Philly is in. They get eight spot. Philly, Milwaukee is in. I don't see Chicago making, of course, Cleveland is in. Boston's in. So I didn't even count. So that's one, two, three. That's four teams already. Out of the East, um, Atlanta, no. Miami, Miami's in, that's five. Charlotte's in, that's six. So I only got two more spots for the East. Um, let's do who I think who do I think will get in? The East, the East. Of course, Toronto's in at seven. And Washington. So that's all the East teams, right? Yeah, so we got Washington as one. Washington one, Philly two, Milwaukee three, Cleveland four. Boston 5, Miami 6, the Hornets are 7, and um, 
Toronto is eight. So that's my that's my eight teams on each side, man. That's why I think if you didn't catch it, like I say, play it back. Those are my eight teams who I think will be in, but you never know, man. You never know. Leave leave down in the comment section who y'all think will be in the playoffs this season. Who's your lock? Well, not your lock. Okay, who is your dark horse? Okay, so who's your dark horse to get into the playoffs? Like that team you might not think that'll get in there, that might get in there. And give me your top two teams besides, okay, so in the West, besides Golden State, in the East, besides Cleveland, who do you guys think could push those two teams in the West Conference? In the West Conference Finals, on the West, on the East Conference Finals, on the East with Cleveland, West with Golden State. Give me those teams down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. It got a little long, but I apologize. But I hope you enjoyed, man. I gave y'all some much, some, some some good stats. I gave y'all some good insight on some of these young teams, man. And I uh, hope y'all enjoyed that. If y'all want more videos like this, where I give y'all insight, because I'm very, hey, I know my sports, man. When it comes to basketball and football, I know my sports. So if you want more videos like this, where I kind of give you insight on how I think about uh, sports and, and as a whole, let me know. And I'll definitely, you know, just, hey, let's, let's do it, man. Let's do it. If y'all got some sports talk y'all want to have in the comment section, let's do it, man. But till next time, your boy turn quietly out. God bless. New to the channel. Please subscribe. Also, smash that like button. It helps me a lot. And if you want to donate to the channel, I have a link down below. But I rambled on enough. Till next time, I'm out. God bless.